everybody just well this hangout was on sun and moon last night and most of it is donald here and there's artists talking and there's joe talking and the others are quiet but about the stan mars experiment and his bit in it and how he how he he didn't actually meet stan mars but he helped deal with the car afterwards so that whole hangout is on sun and moon but in the middle of it, artists got into this, and it so interests me because everybody has this idea that, oh, they look like tree stumps, the mountains, and stuff like that. When actually it's something completely different that's happened. It's electrical arcings, and artists explains it very quickly here, how it, how it happens. So please watch this video. You know, the whole place has been hit with these enormous great electrical arcings and a, a positive and a negative strike, you know, like in the land and out the land. Yeah. And um, which is the bit where the trees grow, artists? Lots of trees go around one of them. Uh, most of the time, I think it's the the zone, the strike zone, actually. So you have a positive, just like those LinkedIn bears. Yeah, yeah, look, that's like those Lindenberg figures. Maybe you are, you know them, those Lindenberg. I can maybe show a picture of them. Basically, in the zone of those Lindenberg figures, are often also in the, the discharge that is actually make the ground sink, sink down. That's where the trees are most of the time on the mountains. There is the iron rich minerals, uh, min uh, minerals. Or uh, they are um, certain kind of metals are into the mountain and often in the sinkhole or the crater you can call it also. That's where the trees are often, and also in the strike zone itself is most of the time. Uh, did some research and also uh, watched some YouTube videos that actually in that zone is where the most trees are often, not always, but often. And uh, the highest trees are in that area. So the, uh, the f for some reason, because that area attracts minerals and uh, metals, it also probably attracts the soil that uh, trees can grow on better. So it fertilizes the ground. Thanks for that, Artis. Thank you for that. Yeah, anyway, we're learning and growing, and Artis has been finding all this mm. stuff out. It's amazing. Well, you already know about those uh, electrical discharges I talked about. So, yeah, you can see them all over the earth. So, that's uh, very interesting. <coughs> you probably solved my presentations on it, I think, Don. What was that? You probably seen, saw my presentation on those electrical discharges. Uh, no, I haven't uh, haven't seen oh. that one yet. Okay, I can give you in a short version. Otherwise, uh, we will <laughs> we'll be uh, more than a, a couple of hours. But basically, what that uh, what I did some research about, I'm still going on. It's an ongoing thing on the uh, Chris Monkey's work. And uh, you can see my screen probably. Yes, I can. Okay, that's fine. And uh, this is basically in. Uh, the discharges in powdered uh, sand, certain kinds of sand. And he did a uh, Dr. C.J. Ransom with electrical discharge experiments in sand. So you can find more information that on the internet about that. And you can see those electrical discharges look a lot like uh, electrical discharges you can find on the earth. This is another guy who did the experiments. This is uh, William George Armstrong in the early 1800s. He did some electrical discharge in uh, so also certain uh, different kinds of sand and also uh, different kinds of powdered metal and also fused those metals with sand and then this discharges. So this is a positive and a negative. I don't know which actually the positive or negative, but I think this is the positive and this is the negative. And you can see with different kinds of sands and different kinds of uh, powdered uh, metal, you got different kinds of uh, figures here. It also already looks like those certain kinds of uh, discharges on the earth. It almost looks like those Lindenberg figures. Eh? And you can also see it looks like uh, 
if you look at the mountain range, you can also see these kind of figures. This is another one, just some, uh, it almost looks like a human eye. If you actually look at the human eye, it looks a lot like an electrical discharge in powdered sand and powdered. Uh, that puts uh, me in the mind of an uh, amoeba, kind of. Yeah. And uh, you can see here all those, uh, this is the human eyes basically and all those nerves. And it, this is a Lindenberg figure. So you, basically you can uh, put apart a microwave and, the, and put clippings of the, the microwave and hook it up to the microwave system and then you uh, turn it on. And it's uh, what, the, what is interesting that if you actually does this kind of uh, Lindenberg uh, discharge, uh, discharge in the wood, Actually, when you uh, uh, spray soda over it, so you pour soda over it, it works better. The Coca-Cola works the best for some reason. <laughs> so, and then you can uh, get this electrical discharge, and the positive and negative will search for each other and meet at the end. And it's yeah, basically an, an electrolyte. The yeah. cola acts like an electrolyte. But it's interesting. This is also a Lindenberg figure. That's what they called. If you actually look in the Egypt in the desert, here you have also very dark round discharge, and actually you can see also the same shape here, and it also comes across comes here one. And if the mountain is turned to rubble, yeah, you can see it's it's loose rubble. That this is actually the mountain. This mountain over here, it's actually this mountain. And then you can see there's no water over here. You can see those electrical discharge shapes all over the earth. Here, another one, even in mountains. So maybe, yeah, this, this was also, maybe it can also be caused by the weathering of the water, but it also could be. That's beautiful. Electrical discharge. And because the electrical discharge carves out the rock, the water flows into that place because yeah that's the lowest part of the mountains and this is actually underground you also have the same type if you look at caves in the ground a lot uh, they also look a lot like those electrical discharge Lindenberg figures and this it is actually like veins, uh, like yeah. veins of the earth yeah, this the is earth south. Well. yeah and this is in Botswana Africa it also looks and again yeah, because the water flows in this, uh, because it's the lowest part, the water flows naturally in there. So the most of the trees are there. This is another strike zone. This is uh, this, this this crater you can see is is the Goose's Bluff crater in Australia. You can see those mountains. It's almost like a ripple effect. They push the side. And actually, this is a close off of, of those uh, of the Goose Bluff crater. And this is nearby. This is Mount Connor. You can see also, just like I showed before, with those discharges, you said you have an outer rim, then this is pushed up a bit down, and this mountain is basically in the middle, is pushed up again. Here, it appears to be pushed out of the ground. And again, you can see a lot of trees on that surface and surrounded also, but most of the time, not always, of course, most of the time, a lot of trees grow in that area. This is the distance. You can see the, the, the strike zone. You can see it's a very strange mountain range, and normally mountains don't look like this. This is, looks totally different. And here's that uh, pushed up mountain. It is basically pushed down, so the positive and the negative discharge. Most of the time, the mountains that are pushed out of the ground are iron, uh, metal rich or mineral rich. This is uh, near that site, very near. This it's a gold uh, mine. Uh, near Mount Connor, it's the Nicholson fine gold mine. So again, near that area, there's a gold mine. This is just an, uh, another example of a crater. This is the Wolf Creek crater. And this is uh, nearby of, again, mountains that appear to be pushed out of the ground. <clears throat> near that Wolf Creek crater are, again, around these shapes. You have always near those, often near those electrical discharge boulders that are, are very round or they almost look there were liquid at once eh? like you can also melt uh, metal 
and at one point the metal if you have um, uh, metal that is basically powder and you eat it they turn first they turn into small balls and then they basically attract each other that's what it looks often when you heat metal they turn first turn into balls and then on big uh, fluid mass and here you have around this side a lot of uh, balls and then this this is in uh, petrified forest near the petrified forest in uh, Arizona you have all those mounts but they are flattened at the top so no pointy mounts all flat so they appear to be pushed out of the ground just like the last one here and, yeah and then near that you have all those uh, petrified <laughs> forests so the electrical discharge well, I hope that um, that helps you understand more about electrical strikings and what they do and what they cause. And it somehow pushes the land in at one end and pushes the land out another. And those arcings to make mountains would have to be quite big. But it seems that we were covered in these electrical arcings. Maybe that's the time Tartaria disappeared. But anyway, thanks for watching this video. Uh